Okay, in this episode of Teacher Tools, we are going to talk about Adobe Spark. Now, there are a lot of different things that you can do with Adobe Spark, and because I like to keep these things pretty focused, we are only going to talk about one today. So first, you would go to Adobe Spark. You do have to create an account, but it's free, so you can just go ahead and create an account. This can be great for you, and it also can be a really wonderful tool for your students. So it'll save your projects down here. Um, but the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is just go ahead and try and create something. So you click on this, you can do a post, you can create a page, or you're gonna do a video. Today, we're gonna talk about the page simply because that's the thing um, that I'm finding the most helpful to really use with my students and I think can also be a great tool for your students. So, um, we're gonna look at this and then I'm gonna show you an example of a page that I created. So you can add a title and then as you wanna add things, you just click on these little plus signs and it shows you all of the things that you can add in really, really simply and um, beautifully. So we're gonna pop over to this example of one that I created. Um, and so this one is focusing on the element of line and I titled it the day I drew 10,000 lines. So I like this because it's a really beautiful way to put together an interactive lesson for your students. So it can be useful if you're doing more of a flipped classroom model. It could be a great way to put together a sub plan so that your sub would just be sharing this with your students um, or just really sharing examples with your students. So this is the cover page. And then as you scroll down, it's gonna give the students some examples. So I'm walking them through my idea generation process. So how I'm kind of coming up with ideas. So I'm telling them that my sketches that they're going to see were inspired by weaving design and solo it. So another nice feature, it lets you really easily embed video. So I'm actually pulled this video in, which was where my research started, showing my sketchbook, showing another video that I watched, and continuing to show my sketchbook with some information below those. And I'll share the link to this so you can explore it more if you want to. Um, so it's a really nice way to show examples as well as my thought process. Then we're getting into some more finished pieces and they can see how that progressed. And then continuing to show, um, I really wanted to do some more connection with the artist Solowit, so I decided that I was going to draw until I used up my pencil. So this is the life of a pencil. I made um, like a little stop action for them that they can go ahead and watch and then pulled some of the images out of the stop action. So I'm actually gonna be using this for an assignment with them, but this is more for you to kind of see how you might build a lesson on it. Um, so I'll be sharing this with you under this teacher tool video, and then we'll also end up linking to some of the lessons that I created. So this is a great way to present information to your students really easily and beautifully, or have your students use this to create their own presentations.